Deuterium is my topic today. Have you heard of deuterium? I never did until very recently. So I'm hoping that you can walk away from this video with a little more knowledge when you hear somebody talk about deuterium. It is spelled D-E-U-T-E-R-I-U-M. It's also known as heavy hydrogen. It is not considered inherently bad for humans in small amounts because it's naturally occurring element it's present in all water, but consuming a large quantity of deuterium-rich heavy water can be harmful due to its slightly different chemical behavior compared to regular hydrogen, potentially disrupting important biological processes in the body by slowing down chemical reactions due to its heavier mass. Here are the properties of deuterium. It's a stable isotope of hydrogen with one proton and one neutron and one electron. It's heavy. That's why they call it heavy hydrogen. There's one deuterium for every 6,420 hydrogen atoms in Earth's oceans. So it's relatively rare, but it's there. They use it for fuel infusion, energy power plants, nutrition assessments, drug recovery. It's colorless, it's odorless, it's flammable. It is not toxic in small amounts, but can displace oxygen in the air and cause asphyxiation. Now, in a nutshell, if we get too much deuterium in our bodies, deuterium is bigger, it's bulkier, it's heavier. Hydrogen is lighter, it's smaller. And so all of the hydrogen that is working throughout our body can work throughout our body in a normal fashion. But if there's too much deuterium, which is kind of like the replacement of hydrogen, if there's too much of that kind of hydrogen, this heavy hydrogen, that deuterium is trying to do all the same processes as hydrogen does, but it's bigger, it's bulkier. And just imagine a big RV trying to get into your garage and it's squishing through the top gets crushed you're bashing things on the sides you're damaging things as you're ramming this enormous recreational vehicle into your small garage instead of a car the car imagine that that's hydrogen can just slide right in that rv is too big it's too bulky and it causes damage as it's moving along and that is why too much deuterium in our body is harmful to all the processes in our body. We're going to have deuterium in our body, but we don't want to have too much. So now the question is, how do I lower my deuterium in my body? How do I lower this heavy hydrogen so I have fewer? And the answer is to, you know what I'm going to say, right? It's to eat the proper human diet. Because when we eat a lot of carbohydrates and sugars, which is found in the standard world diet, they are heavy in deuterium. They are. So when we eliminate the carbs and sugars, we have fewer deuterium atoms and we have more hydrogen atoms in their place and our body can function more efficiently with less RVs smashing into the garage, if you know what I mean. So I just wanted to share that analogy. What hit home for me when I learned this was that analogy, the size of the deuterium versus the size of the hydrogen. And that is the reason that deuterium is a problem in the human body. We all have it. It occurs naturally. It's everywhere, but it's in very, very, very small amounts. And we don't want to get larger amounts by eating an inappropriate diet, which is what's out there. The standard world diet is in an inappropriate diet. We need to go back to eating animal products with animal fats, and you will have a normal or low level of deuterium in your body. Ladies and gentlemen, if you found this interesting, helpful, or insightful, click the thumbs up and share this with a friend or a family member. Subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber, and I hope you have a really great day.